Good morning. It's not morning at all. What time would you guess it is? It's 9.36 p.m. It's so late. So the video that was supposed to go up today was called How to Make Goals, or something like that. That's what we were filming on Travis's last day here, but Travis had an oopsie. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sort of just explain a little bit of how that mentorship happened, my experience with Travis, maybe tell you a little bit about what he's gonna do in the future. And the other thing is that I haven't filmed in the last three days. Um, the challenge is pretty much over. I've done my three week block and it's time to start winding down this vlog so that I can spend Christmas with my family. So let's jump into this video um, where I was actually on a Zwift conference call. These photos are so awesome. <laughs> By the way, they're so good. It was definitely the most fun and the stickiest day in the photo studio. Thermal bibs, thermal base layer, thermal jersey, thermal jacket, thermal gloves, two pairs of socks. I'm still cold. <laughs> So this is the farewell ride to Travis. He is leaving tonight. We're sad to see him go. He's really kept me really honest with my work ethic. You know, I get real lazy sometimes and he had come upstairs and I'd be playing Mad Skills 3 and he would just stare at me. I'm like, shit. <laughs> so then I'd, you know, get into the office and, and he's an early bird. So it's really made me, I don't know, find an extra gear. So it's gonna be hard when, now that he leaves. But he is managing our Ride Bikes team. I'm gonna see him at all the races. He'll be doing the Ride Bikes events. So we'll still connect. Of course. But of course. <laughs> Yeah, let me see your hand. All right. Um, Fun times. We got it on film. That's that's all that matters. Careful. Dude, I can't walk forward. Oh, perfect. That's what you need. Uh, Hello. Right. This is gonna be difficult for him to to manage through. Um, his bike is broken. Now. So pissed. Yeah, I, I, like the low, I think it's not as bad because I, I, well, I, I can get a new bike. I have another bike. Um, nothing's broken. So just looking at that high, old me would have just like broken down and been like, this life, it's over. <laughs> you get up, my wrist really hurts for some reason, probably because I try to catch my fat ass <laughs> flipping over the bars. Well, your wrist or your arm? Uh, I'm holding it here to keep it stiff, but it's here and up. Oh yeah, boy! A anyone knows how, I know anyone that's crashed on a motorcycle, anything. It's so slow motion. I saw you. 
because I was upside down. I was like looking at you, and I was like, why am I looking at him at this angle? And then boom, boom, boom. So like you saw, so now that you've seen the video, you've seen the edit, uh -huh. what do you think you could have done differently? Ooh, that's hard. Because you always can like, I can always do this and this. What I noticed was, of course, I should have been in the drops. Second, um, I hit that bump that launched my back wheel out just a bit, and I think that might have just been the bit I didn't I didn't need in that turn. Um, and after after I went right, there was nothing really I could have done. Um, I was hoping just to be able to ride through the grass. I hit that rock and it booted me just enough up that it was just, it was just game over. But you move on and you go throughout your day. So. I know you want to get out of here and kind of just move about your day, but so what, um, what has it been like uh, in this last, I mean, crazy eight months? It's been, uh, yeah, I think it's like seven months. Uh, it's been, uh, not to say there's no other 19 year old that has these opportunities, but well, a 19 year old has the opportunity to travel and ride bikes. And so I'm very grateful for this opportunity. It's very emotional. Um, I'm trying not to be emotional right now, um, but it's super like the, I'm very grateful what Tyler was able to give me and the tools and connections and all these things. And it's just, I don't know, it's super cool. Like it was a great experience. There's no end to this. I'm still managing the team, clothing company. He's on the team I manage. He owns the team. I'll be here in 45 days for team camp. So, um, but I'll miss it for sure, but that's why. <laughs>cutting the onions in here am i right so okay i took the mentorship of travis extremely serious i wanted him to leave here with a set of tools to understand how to overcome certain obstacles uh, and how to better himself you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink and so what i needed him to do is to see certain things uh, and understand the tools and the process that I used to get them done. I had to be very patient with him and sort of tiptoe around, you know, being aggressive with things he did wrong. Uh, he doesn't take criticism very well, and so that was something I had to learn how to, like, tell him how to do something better with a compliment sandwich. Wow, you did really good there. That was fantastic. You know, next time you could probably do it a little bit better this way, but overall you've crushed this trip. That's the compliment sandwich. You put the piece of feedback you want in between two positive reinforcements. And I think with any good mentorship, the key is that you both grow, right? You don't wanna be a mentor where you just help someone else and that's it. There's always room to learn. Now obviously having a 19 year old tell me what I'm doing wrong is difficult to hear. Uh, and so, you know, we kind of had to manage that a little bit, but I was open with him, open ears with him. I always told him, hey man, I want to hear what you have to say. I don't ever think that you're going to make me angry by telling me the truth. So, okay, what is he doing? Travis is a safe sports certified uh, manager of Ride Bikes Elite Team. Now we actually got domestic elite status. Travis took our ride bikes team from whatever, 
to legitimately domestic elite, which means we're racing pro races and our roster is stacked. We honestly have a real solid chance in competing against Legion in 2022. Travis did a ton with the sponsors and the kits and the management of that team. Like, I'm so proud of him. And that is gonna be his main job going in 2022 is to run our Ride Bikes domestic elite team. Uh, oh, and I gave him that poster, that huge poster. That's his now, because that was so awesome. So we'll come over here to this other bit. So what we're gonna do in here is we're actually, my wife and I are gonna get way more serious about Ride Bikes clothing. Uh, we started investing in actual physical stock. We used to do everything on Printful. It's time to get off of that. I'm really excited to have my wife sort of partner with me to help run ride bikes the way it needs to. Ninth, cool. Mrs. BC, what do we have here? It's from Italy, from Tuscany, and just so good. I feel like you can taste the difference in just the pasta. And then I cooked it with some um, jackfruit, like fake meat stuff, and then some marinara sauce. I roasted some carrots. I've been really into roasting carrots because they get so sweet. And then I got these really pretty white asparagus and purple asparagus at Whole Foods. So I added that in and then I got this really yummy bread from Whole Foods and so toasted that. It is called Golden Age Bula, maybe? So yummy. Um, made has sourdough starter, so it's bread that's good for you. And toasted it with some vegan butter and that's it. Can I get your little thoughts on what it's been like to have a 19 year old living in your house. Like having another kid. And so do you feel sort of like relaxed now? Yeah, cause um, I mean having anybody in your home, you know, you have to be on a certain game. Like you have to always be- Clothed. Clothed, right? <laughs> like there's times where I would come down, I can't, I can't do things that I would do before. I can't come down wearing a bathrobe or I can't come, I have to wear certain clothes. You know what I mean? All right guys, Travis is okay. His bike is not. Um, he will get another Vetus in the mail, but it's coming from UK and uh, so it's gonna be a couple months before he's back on that bike. Um, but I did give him my Canyon, so hopefully he has something he can ride in the meantime. So anyways, we're gonna start wrapping this up. I think I'm only going to probably post a couple more videos because um, Christmas, you know, I, I, that's it. Like, I'm, I'm going to wake up Christmas morning and I'm not going to touch the camera. I'm not going to touch social media. It's just going to be about the family. So we're going to start winding these down. And uh, anyways, I really appreciate you. As always, vegan cyclists. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, baby. Dad, when yes. you're editing, you're going to laugh. How's like this? Yeah. yeah.